CLP leader Okrami Bobi gathers support to defeat Modi led NDA government to protect Manipur and India urges people to reflect on Modi's false assurances. LJP National Vice President Karam Shyam declares strong support from LJP to both inner and outer BJP candidates in forthcoming Lok Sabha polls. Maitai Pangal Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee says ST status demand of Maitai Pangal community is not against any community but to bring an equal society. Imphal Urban Cooperative Bank remains inefficient with 60% NPS per RBI rating among Northeast states. Bank administrator vows to revive the bank. Theatre Centre Manipur presents BM Ecola Lifetime Achievement Award to El Kesor Jid and BM Ecola Memorial Theatre Centre Award to El Brajamohan on World Theatre Day. And second Governor's Trophy State Level Mukna Country Tournament kicks off at Imphal Polo Ground. Imphal East District beats Bishnapur District 11 4 in the first match. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangtum bringing you the top stories. Leader of Congress Legislature Party CLP Manipur. Okram Ibobi urged people to prevent coming back of Prime Minister Narendra Modi late NDA government at the center and BJP late state government to safeguard Manipur and India as a whole. He made a remark at the party flag hosting ceremony in view of the ensuing 17th Lok Sabha polls held at the residence of INC outer Manipur candidate James Kashung in Sangaipuro, Mamang Leikai today. Ibobi maintained that Lok Sabha election conducted every five years is a crucial one for a democratic country like India. He urged everyone to reflect on the false assurances of Prime Minister Modi and take wise decisions in the ensuing elections. The CLP leader asked how far the state government's go to hills, go to village and school chatsi mission have benefited people in the state. Congress leaders and workers, Congress MLAs and supporters were present on the occasion. Bharat the labor prajasing, Aduga Mashigina, Manipur the labor prajasing, Mashina, Opna Yenaga, Makoi, Karikari, Public Key, Prajasing, Welfare Scheme, Tashing, Tabakoina, Won't talk about Karikari Tauhe, Makoi policies, Makada, Chum Satarapa Targadi, Akoida Karikari Lakani Hibisi, I demand the links in Biba, Mayan, Hena, Cope Naidi, Study, Tawira Magani, Hyna Idi, Adamina Pil, Tauzebane, Huzik Lariba Yamna, Communal Weba, Sirina. Narendra Modi ki central government, who is the state of Paliwa, BJP led government, hai. let us teach them a lesson. Hydra Akoi, Aroi Vithadra Koi, Tojagadoribune, Singam Sumtam Animaxe, Ahong Bama Kurna by Koi Honamina Si. I have both Hazaraga, Pibuche, I Saptan Aitsuna, I am Siamagi, disciplined to a Nakani, Sandman Kunipa, Kudingi, Tati Kaidana, I Tuan Biraga, Miami MP, I need Hibuche, Ahi Nunjin Kaidana, Awaba, Nungaiwa Torabuso. I have some bureau, Hiraga, Popi Bio, Nahagi Shepa, Mayangi Shepa, do I talk again? CLP leader and former Chief Minister Okram Ibobi assured benefits of Congress parties, Yuntam Aj Yojana NYAY minimum income guarantee scheme if Congress wins the upcoming 17th Lok Sabha election. He said over 25 crore individuals belonging to below poverty line BPL families will be provided 6,000 rupees each per month under the scheme it is ever implemented. He stated that the same during a press meet held at Congress Bhavan this evening. Okrami Bobi maintained that Congress parties, Naya recently mentioned by AICC President Rahul Gandhi, will provide each member of BPL family 6,000 rupees each per month, amounting to 72,000 rupees per person. Per year. He said if the scheme is ever implemented, it will be the most beneficial scheme in the world. Taking part in the press meet, MPCC President 
Guy Kangam asserted that Congress party always puts its promises into actions. He criticized BJP of campaigning votes in the last elections with false promises. The MPCC president urged people to vote for Congress party and spread awareness on NYAY to eradicate poverty from India. Karigumba, Congress put haja bina nungsi bina handa ki taratre lak suba lok sabha ki election si machida Congress na center da sarkar paire ko targeti schemes ki makhada below property line ki makhada leiba educated and employed oiro adu ko laire ba farmer ki family oiro har ba category si ki manung da challaga di masi ki si pigani. Baza pum na man masi ki khurong sabha se pangbe pangbe ne bhagna makta laire ba election da show. Lok Jan Sakti Party LJP National Vice President Karam Shyam has declared staunch support from LJP towards BJP candidates in the forthcoming elections to strengthen BJP LJP alliance of the NDA government. He said the decision followed a high-level party leaders meeting held in New Delhi on March 18. Speaking to media at LJP Manipur State Unit Office in Babu Para today, Minister Karam Shyam recalled that 17 LJP candidates contested in the last Manipur Legislative Assembly elections. He asserted that LJP supporters and candidates in the last elections will support BJP candidates for both inner and outer seats in the ensuing 17th Lok Sabha elections. Karam Shyam appealed to support in reinstating Prime Minister Narendra Modi government for uplifting the downtrodden to build a better society. <laughs> Manipur da huje dia koi end dege makada BJP ki thado iba candidate ani makda support to winna na ba as a national ki vice president na moina the mayam puno makki ma phanda hijeri na ekoi thi am dar karle si center da government pai ba duga state to su tu na salagadi any state ki issue la pa kanda sung choi choi dana adi pau pau na ba da he na effective result la ma. NPF candidate and outer Manipur parliamentary constituency for 17th Lok Sabha election, Dr. Lorho S. Fose kicked off his election campaign at Sanapati ground today. NPF President Dr. Surhozili Letzisu hoisted the party flag on the occasion. NPF members from Manipur and NPF Central Unit Kohima and many party supporters from various districts of Manipur were present in the event. Dr. Lorho in his speech asserted that truth will eradicate all social evils and injustice. NPP candidate in outer Manipur parliamentary constituency for 17th Lok Sabha election. Thang Milian Kipgen also kicked off his election campaign by hoisting the party flag in a ceremony held at his residence in Haipi village, Kangpokpi district today. Thang Milian A workshop on election code of conduct for the ensuing 17th Lok Sabha election was held for news section of All India Radio Imphal and its correspondents in every district. Regional News Unit Imphal organized a workshop at its conference hall. Assistant Chief Electoral Officer of Chief Election Department, C.H. Birin gave resourceful insights on election code of conduct in the workshop. All Manipur Students' Guardian Organization in a press release urged Deputy Commissioner Imphal West to revoke 
its recent notification to utilize BOSIM and COSIM officials for the ensuing 17th Lok Sabha elections on April 11 and 18. The organization stated that such utilization will hinder evaluation process of BOSIM Class 10 and COSIM Class 12 board examinations leading to delay of examinations results and eventually affecting students' career life. Convener of Maitai Pangal Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee Islam Makakcha asserted that the committee's demand is not targeted against any community. He maintained that the committee's demand is to get a constitutional safeguard for Maitai Pangal community, which is a minority community. Speaking to media at the committee office in Hatta today, convener Islam Akakcha stated that demand for scheduled tribe status of Maitai Pangal community is not a demand for a separate homeland of Maitai Pangal. Mentioning that Maitai Pangal community is the most backward community in the state, the convener appealed to extend solidarity to their demand and help in building an equal society. Speaking to media, chairman of the committee, Nongzai Mayumriyas Ahmad Shah stated that Maitai Pangal community was recognized as other backward classes in 1997. He maintained that Maitai Pangal community is an indigenous community which originated from the Maitai community. He said the committee initiated its demand in 2014 by submitting a memorandum to the then state governor. The chairman expressed apprehension at the rising influx of Muslims from outside the state threatening the very existence of indigenous Maitai Pangal community. <laughs> Hoigi Hagse Miam Puna Sogat Minadana Manipur de Leriba Community Kudimaki Apamba Oiba Adugumba Sedul Tribe Hivase Masi Puna Pang Minaraga Puna enjoy to Minaba Puna Nungai Minaba Barat Chakargi Protects and Doa Puna Naminaba Pang Minaba Somda Aquina Nasi Chanchin and Nabagi Namata Aqua Sedul Tribe Demand Committee Si Sam Zabani Mate Pangan Yoba Tonganba Homeland Tanbagi Aqua Pamba is a day Mate Pangan Gidamata Tonganba Kariguba Unaba Tabak Amapo Aqua Togzeroi Manipur de Leriba Community Miam Punamagna, Akoi Pangan, Equese, Amakan Tazabu, Ran Boy no Ubiganu, Adugumba Pataboy in Uruga Community Sibu, Nam Tananaba Tobiba, Masima Nasidagi, Tokanzanini. Imphal Urban Cooperative Bank IUCB in, is in a deplorable condition with 60% non performing assets NPA as per RBI rating among North East states. IUCB Administrator Armstrong Palme, IAS assured to bring the rating down to 40% within four to five days to revive the bank. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, Armstrong Palme said the earlier efficient bank with grade A and B, RBI rating gradually deteriorated in the past 15 to 20 years. He blamed the deplorable condition of the bank to self-centric attitude of some board of director BOD members. He further accused concerned bank registrar of suppressing election to elect members of BOD in 2015 against the interests of shareholders. Armstrong Palmer stressed the need to elect efficient BOD members to revive the deteriorating bank without further delay. Manipur joined the rest of the world in observing World Theatre Day today. The day is observed globally every year on March 27th to generate awareness about the importance of theatre arts, how they play an important role in the field of entertainment and the changes that theatre brings in life. Theatre Centre Manipur also observed the day at Manipur Press Club. Annual awards accorded to eminent theatre personalities by Theatre Centre Manipur were also presented on the occasion. BM Mekola Lifetime Achievement Award 2019 was conferred upon eminent theatre personality El Kesorjid and BM Mekola Memorial Theatre Centre Award 2019 was presented to theatre director El Brajamohan. Each award included 20,000 rupees cash, a shawl, a citation and a traditional headgear known as kokid. Speaking in the event, President of Theatre Centre Manipur, Kampat Mashri Awardee, Nabawarepa stated that every theatre enthusiast 
endeavor to bring love, harmony and a brighter future. He asserted that a small state like Manipur extends solidarity in bringing unity along with theater groups of the world. Loading theatrical works of Manipur, Nabawarepa maintained that Manipur is popular in the world in the field of theater. Social worker Dr. Esman Autun and many eminent theater artists attended the event. And on that note, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on wanted rapists. Timothy from Churachanpur District. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Prime Time English News. Police notified that a rape accused sentenced to life imprisonment is on a hideout. The miscreant is identified as Timothy Lalmun Maui Changsang, 52 years son of late Thangzakam from Churchanpur district. Timothy went on a hideout census release on bail during his proceedings. Sentence was declared in his absence. Churchanpur District Police has now declared Timothy as wanted. Public is notified to inform about his whereabouts on contact number 03874-233239 and mobile numbers 89749748580 and 98620-86204. As part of strict measures to nab Thokchom Nando, leader of prescribed KCP factioned Nando group who escaped Janem security ward in the wee hours of Tuesday, Imphal East Police team carried out court on and search operations in various parts of Imphal East District today. Imphal East Commando Unit team under the supervision of SP Imphal East. Jogesh Chandra Haubijam, led by additional SP operation, TH Krishna Tombi, including Imphal East Commando OC, Kogen conducted door-to-door -door combing operations at Kaibi Laushankung, Phailen Court, Chingdai Kulen and Chanung. However, no arrest was made during the search operations. And meanwhile, Superintendent Police of Imphal East District Police in a press release informed that one assistant sub-inspector and four police personnel who were on duty on the day KCP leader T.H. Nando escaped from Chenim's ortho security ward have been suspended on the ground of negligence. Technopol District Police initiated drives against traffic congestions on the road leading to Indo-Myanmar Friendship Gate No. 2 today. More police officers led by SP Technopol, TH Bikramjit cleared out vehicles and makeshift vendors on the roadsides. SP Bikramjit stated that the drive was carried out to ease the plights of commuters. And out of sports news. Second Governor's Trophy State Level Mukna Kangji tournament kicked off at Imphal Polo Ground today. Dr. L. Ibungo Hal of Sangchalak Manipur Prant, Krida Bharati Manipur Vice President G. Dombi, MOA Vice President Kam All Manipur Mukna Association Secretary M. Turjit, and many eminent persons of the state attended the opening ceremony. A match of the time in Memorial Panasagol Kangjai was also showcased. In the first match of Mugna Kangjai, Imphal East District beat Bishnupur District by 11 4. For the winners, TH Dinku scored five goals, KH Bungobi and KH Arun scored two goals each, while H Dines and L Ango scored one goal each. Imphal West District, Imphal East District, Bishnupur District, Kakching District, and Thaubal District are participating in the tournament on knockout basis. Krida Bharati Manipur organized a tournament under the ages of Old Manipur Mukna Association. Kakching District will play against Thaubal District in the second match, while Imphal West District will lock horns with Imphal East District in the third match of the tournament tomorrow.
Northeastern Reorganization Cultural Association Nero Kasangak Pam entered semi final of the 61st Sergeant Chan Singh KCSI CBE Memorial Football Tournament today. In the first quarter match played at Kumanlampa Artificial Turf Ground, Northeastern Nero Ka beat North Imphal Sporting Association Nisa Thangmaiban by 1 0. The lone winning goal was scored by Katsumi Yusa at 75th minutes of the match. While Nisa Thangmaiban's player Rojan was slapped with a red card for breaking the rules by central referee. Altogether, 31 football teams, including two football teams from outside the state, are participating in the football tournament. All Manipur Football Association Amfa has been organizing the tournament dedicated to Churachan Maharaj who is also known as the father of the modern games of Manipur since 1950. Trao FC Kwakatel will play against KFC Bishnabur in the last pre-quarter final match tomorrow. Before we end the bulletin, let's take a look at headlines once again. CLP leader Okrami Bobby Gadil's support to defeat Modi late NDA government to protect Manipur and India urges people to reflect on Modi's false assurances. LJP National Vice President Karam Shyam declares strong support from LJP to both inner and outer BJP candidates in forthcoming Lok Sabha polls. Maitai Pangal Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee stay, says ST status demand of Maitai Pangal community is not against any community but to bring an equal society. <laughs> Imphal Urban Cooperative Bank remains inefficient with 60% NPAS per RBI rating among naughty states. Bank administrator vows to revive the bank. Theatre Centre Manipur presents B.M. Mekola Lifetime Achievement Award to L.K. Sorjit and B.M. Mekola Memorial Theatre Centre Award to L. Brajo Mohan on World Theatre Day. And second Governor's Trophy State Level Mugna Kangtai Tournament kicks off at Imphal Polo Ground. Imphal East District beats Bishnupur District 11-4 in the first match.